So let me ask you about Israel and the world for a minute. Um, in case you haven't heard, we had an election here in America, too. Uh, President Trump hasn't quite conceded, but it certainly looks as though uh, Vice President Joe Biden uh, won our election and will be our new president in January. So uh, let's take a moment. Do you have a message for President-elect Biden other than please come visit us in Israel? First of all, I've already invited every elect president to come to Israel because we are not Republicans and we are not Democrats. We know that we have one friend, the American people, bipartisan. We know that the friendship between the Americans and the Israelis goes beyond, goes beyond politics. Uh, everyone who um, uh, will be elected or was elected to become the president, we would like him to hear us because we know that first of all, he not only respects us because of our values and our way of thinking and our behavior, also because we know that we have a real strategical uh, partnership in many, many fields that uh, we have to take care in the um, uh, world. In the world. Uh, we are all together. So for us, for us, many people in Israel respected um, uh, President Trump because he did a lot for, for the people of Israel, for example. Uh, there is a consensus by 80% of the population in Israel that Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. Many, many presidents have said, Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. Uh, President Trump has uh, declared and moved the uh, embassy of, uh, the, of the United States will be in Jerusalem. People in Israel appreciate that very much without uh, any kind of standing once you are talking about Democrats or Republicans. Uh, but of course, all the people of Israel knows very much that the president-elect Biden, and I'm saying president-elect because everyone in America tells me from all over the television that he is the president-elect. I'm a very good friend of President Biden. I remember him as a, pri as a, a vice president. He was a, 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 many times in Israel. I met him as the speaker of the Israeli a, parliament, as the Israeli Knesset. I met him as the president of Israel and hosted him as the uh, vice president of the United States. And we are looking forward. We know that uh, from time to time, we have some differences of opinion also with the American administration about uh, the uh, actual um, understanding uh, what is the meaning of two states for two people, for example, that I don't know, I don't want to go into details. I really believe I really believe as a Jerusalemite, as like my, my colleague, the president of the Palestinian people, we are both, as we say in Arab, Bani el balad which means we are all children of the same town, of the same city. And we have to find the way in order to understand. We are not doomed to live together. It is our destiny. We are distant to live together. And uh, when they will understand that. Because, Rob, we have peace with the Egyptian for more than 40 years. We have peace with the Jordanians for the last 27 years. We have peace with the king. We have peace with the president but we don't have peace. We have peace between the administrations. Sometimes we have peace with the, uh, um, uh, with the armies uh, when it is needed uh, to hold uh, the uh, security of the whole region, uh, but we don't have peace between the people. And as long as we don't have peace between the people, it is really something that cannot bring us to real, peace, to real understanding, because we can say two states for two people, one state for all the people, federation, confederation, we can do a lot. But first of all, we have to build confidence. 
I try to say so to many, many um, American presidents. Uh, yeah, I, I, I was talking to Obama at the time. I was talking to Bush at the time. Clinton, uh, very good friends of my family. And uh, of course, I met Obama. And we had a lot of discussions. Uh, we did not agree about everything, but we agreed that we need to find the way in order to build confidence. I, I tried even to really uh, convince uh, uh, President Trump that confidence, building confidence, you cannot get it by making a deal. You have to have confidence with somebody. He understood. He wants to learn more. But we have, no one understands it in the region. We have, the Palestinians have to understand, it's, it's not too bad to live with us. I'm not patronizing the Palestinians. I really believe that you cannot build confidence by patronizing anyone. I really believe that to, to build confidence is by to show the people, the other people that you respect them, that you really want to live along with them. And they see what we have done in the last 72 years. And uh, probably there are times that they are thinking maybe they wasted too much time that they could save in uh, talking to us, in building confidence with us. We are seeking, we are eager for peace because all people who came from all around the world to back to the homeland, all the Jewish people who came, really came in order to find once and for all safe haven and a place to live and a place that we know that we can protect ourselves but we don't have to protect ourselves if no one will reject the very idea of the uh, state of Israel.